Hello and welcome to another Starman Just Watched. I'm Devin, with me is Billy. Woo! And this is going to be a little different of an episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, first of all, it's The Big Lebowski. Yeah. Cult classic, has a fan following of, like, epic proportions. I want to say that one. Yeah, it's, what, it's a cult movie that spawned its own cult? Yeah. There is a Church of the Dude. Yeah. And the only way you can really drink, watch this movie is you do have to have a drink. Preferably a white rocky. Good, yes. Good old Caucasian. Yeah. If not, at least smoke a little bit of yeah. the Dude. wacky tobacco. Yeah. Like, yeah, man. Want to do a J? Yeah. <laughs> so... If you haven't guessed, yeah. this is going to be kind of a drunken review. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he took a shot <laughs> during the movie, we'll say. Yeah. And then had a drink after the movie. Yeah. So. This is going to be a very interesting experiment. Yeah, this might not go up. No. <laughs> but if you like it, let's own. <laughs> we might do more drunken <laughs> reviews. <laughs> so. Big Lebowski. Billy, this is a favorite of yours. You yeah. quote the hell out of this movie. Yeah, and surprisingly, I only saw it for the first time like five years ago. That's actually knowledge to me. I thought you saw this like a long time ago and watched it religiously. No, I've seen, I would always see bits of it on like Movie Network and all that. And one night I'm like, shit, like, I'm just going to sit down and walk. Now, the first time I watched it was with you. Yeah. And I have heard so much about it. It's in so many fandoms. Oh, yeah. But it never struck me as a movie that I would get into. <laughs> but it is a very much me movie. Yeah. And I hope the feeling goes for anyone who just watches it for the first time that it's, like, you can relate with. It's... Not with the story. The story is a little scatterbrained. Oh, yeah. But the attitude of it. Yeah, Dude's Philosophy. Yeah. Dude's Philosophy of just chill, relax, yeah. every, life goes on, yeah. day by day. Enjoy the moments. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, if everyone was like that, we'd have a better world, in my mind. No. No, dude. Good. Good point on that one. Yeah. And just as I mentioned to Billy before we came down there, this is such a chill movie. Yeah, you mentioned that. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it's a movie that you don't have to pay a hundred percent attention to. <laughs> because well, if you're here for the plot, uh, yeah, no, this, this is not going to be a movie. No. But if you're here just for fun shenanigans <laughs> with chill moments and then some, like, intense scenes, yeah. then... You don't enjoy the hell out of this one. You're going to enjoy the hell out of this. So where do we start on this one? Oh, man. <laughs> you're kind of the expert on this movie, so... Yeah. What do you want us to point out first on this? Uh, well... The dude loves to bowl. The dude loves to bowl. This yeah. is... Okay, there's three features of the dude I yeah. found. Very chill, yep. laid back, loves to bowl, yeah. and doesn't... He's kind of a pacifist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see him one scene, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, he has two other friends in the movie, yep. Donnie and Walter. Yep. <laughs> Played by Steve Chevy as Donnie and... John Goodman as Walter. Yep. One of John Goodman's best roles. No. <laughs> but Walter's very aggressive, <laughs> very selfish, yeah. and very opinionated. Yeah. And stubborn, like a mule. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that has something everyone knows in Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> and just, yeah. Like, a very contradiction to the dude. Yeah. And Donnie is a very passive, quiet kind of guy. Yeah. What I gathered. Like, literally the third wheel. Yeah. Like, he's... 
literally just like, yeah, like I believe. Yeah, he he's not memorable, and no. that's the point of Donnie. Is yeah, he's not memorable. Yeah, but then you feel really bad when he dies. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, holy shit, this character I gave no shits about. Yeah. Died and now I give all the shit to Yeah, him. like this is this is what sad. Yeah, and that's a powerful movie to say that. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> like, hey, we took a character you gave, like, you passed off as oh he's just there, and we made you fucking cry <laughs> when he dies. <laughs> So, we could try to get into the plot of this movie, but it's basically... This, well, starts off with a mistaken identity. Starts off with a mistaken identity. These, uh, hitmen... Just or, uh, thugs come in to rush, uh, rough up, uh, Jeff Lebowski. Yeah. Who happens to be also the dude's name. Yeah. And they soon realize that they have the wrong guy. Yeah. After already trashing the place <laughs> and pissing on his road. Yeah. I was like... It's like, wait, look like I'm buried? Yeah. It's like, look, the toilet seat's up. Yeah. <laughs> and then one of the thugs like, isn't this guy supposed to be rich? <laughs> he wouldn't live in a run-down shack of a house like this. <laughs> and then, so he tells the story to Walter, because you know, you, yeah. that's what you do. Oh, yeah. And Walter's like, well, you know whose fault this is? The original... <laughs> Uh, Jeff Lebowski. Yeah. You should be asking him to get you to replace the rug. <laughs> he's loaded, so he's got the money. Yeah. So, so the dude's like, Alright, okay, I'll go talk to this guy. This guy's kind of an asshole. Yep. Uh, thinks the dude is just there to get a handout. Yeah. He's like, wait, you wait on me today? You don't go to public just like that? Yeah. What's today? <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, you know, a series of yeah. events. We can't. I can't really describe everything that goes on. Oh with, yeah, no. But um, the actual Lebowski, <laughs> uh, daughter or a uh, wife. Yeah. Which is way younger, and <laughs> I, that's why I'm confused with daughter. <laughs> <laughs> wife. Uh, gets kidnapped, in quotation marks, yeah. and there's a million dollar ransom for her, and this Lebowski guy thinks the dude mm. is a good, like, midway guy yeah. to go and Be drop the, off money and get, and, yeah. So. And then he gets help from all for this one. Yeah. So, he gets help with Walter... He mentions the like what he thinks might actually be going on, yeah. and Walter clings to that. <laughs> He's like, "Well, I think maybe the only person that benefits from this is the wife. So, what if she's taking her kidnap to yeah. get more money?" Yeah. Yeah. Like, so thinking like, "Okay, maybe he's right." Yeah. And then Walter clings to that, and then <laughs> when the dude's like. Wait, this might not actually be the case. <laughs> and Walter has this grand scheme of sending, using his dirty laundry yeah. to uh, replace the million dollar yeah. briefcase. He like, use it as a ringer. <laughs> as a ringer. <laughs> Tosses it at the window, they hang on to the million dollars. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then, I forget what happened to the car, but the car gets... Oh, uh, it gets thrown out of the uh, parking home. lot. Yes, parking lot. And then they find out that this kid may have took it. <laughs> like, what is that? Yeah, little bit the old high school kid. Yep. And this is where we get to the interesting censored scene. Yes. Oh my god, this is like one movie I don't think I could ever watch. Edited on TV, because one thing they say, fuck, the two hundred ninety-two times in the movie. Yeah, so imagine having that bleeped out, bleeped out, or just removed, probably. Yeah. Removed or re-edited, 
Yeah, whatever you have you. I don't know how they did. I don't yeah. watch, didn't ever watch the DVD version. No, like I just know like a lot of the movie people <laughs> move actually had them replaced with other words, like And then So the original line, Billy, please. <laughs> Larry, you see what happens later? This is what happens later. Will you fuck a stranger in the ass? Yeah. As opposed to the TV edit, which <laughs> is when you find a stranger in the Alps. <laughs> I know, like... Uh, what does that even fucking mean? <laughs> but... Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I, I agree. Censorship should be for movies. Yeah. So that it reaches a wider audience. Yeah. Oh, hell, I watched an edited version of Robocop on TV. Yeah. Which, yeah. <laughs> That's up for another episode. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> but, when you censor something, it still has to make sense. Yes. Yeah. So, what? It's like, how does Find a Stranger of the Alps make any sense? Also, I'm kind of against TV censoring. Oh, for movies? It oh, yeah. really, like, I agree with you, it does take away from the movie. And yeah. I mean, if you're not supposed to watch it to begin with, yeah. censoring it doesn't really make it that much better. No. As long as I said, like, I had to take, I had a version of Robocop, but that was the only version that was on TV that I could take. <laughs> Fair? Yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> And then there's scenes with the There's like three parties intertwined in this whole yeah. movie. The nihilists. The nihilists, the daughter, yeah. the original Lebowski. And actually four, fuck. There's uh Jeff what's his face? The guy who runs the porn studio. Oh oh Jackie Treehorn. Jackie Treehorn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pay attention there. Yeah. <laughs> I was preoccupied with other things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, too many gems in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> but yeah. So everyone's looking for this million dollars that apparently never, possibly never existed. Yeah. Because <laughs> later on it's revealed that uh, the original Lebowski. <laughs> Uh, Which they actually referred to as the Big That's why it's called the Big Lebowski's. Yeah. They referred to him as the rich guy as the Big Lebowski. Yeah. I say original just yeah. because. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um. It's revealed that he might not want his wife back. Yeah. <laughs> because she is kind of a. Spends all their money. Yeah. <laughs> so I believe that he uh, just fell with like other stuff. So then what was like, wait, so we he switched the ring with the ringer? Yep. <laughs> Actually, no. Why uh, the dude pointed that yeah. at to Walter? Oh, the dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then they have the fight in the parking lot with the nihilist. Yeah. Who, Which. You have a favorite line. <laughs> oh yeah, they finally killed my car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, throughout this movie, the poor dude's car oh. is, keeps getting, like, busted. Yeah. In so many ways. Mm -hmm. And at the final end, they set fire to it. And you feel that. Yeah. Uh. And <laughs> the water goes ape shit in the fight. Yep. <laughs> Over, like... <laughs> Pocket change. <laughs> yeah, they asked them for all the money they have. Yeah. And Walter's like, no, what's mine is mine, dude. <laughs> dude, just give them the money. Yeah. Like, I have four bucks. Yeah. Dude, I only had 18. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting off cheap. <laughs> I want to bet Walter didn't even have any money on him. The one, I... That's the kind of person Walter is to me. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the one good fight scene in this movie. Oh too. yeah. No, like it's, 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 a memorable, it's, like, it's a memorable scene in the movie, right? Yeah. Because one draws up a sword. Yep. 
<laughs> Which he probably drops? Yeah, because... I think this is the same one that Walter throws the ball. No. Oh. Walter throws the ball at the middle guy who doesn't have the sword. Ah. The guy with the sword then approaches Walter but gets close to him? Yeah, close to him and... Walter, Walter grabs him and he drops the sword and they get into a yeah, struggle. Yeah, And he... Mike Tyson's him. Yep. <laughs> Is <laughs> right <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. The fight scene shows how much of a pass this dude is. He's oh, like, just take the ball. Just take the ball. Just don't. Just don't. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, there. And the tragedy strikes. Yeah, and then Donnie dies. Yeah. And then we go through a kind of a hilarious <laughs> sad scene of oh. Donnie gets cremated. They don't. Walter does not want to pay any hundred eighty dollars oh. for an urn because yeah. they're going to scatter his ashes. So he goes and gets a coffee can <laughs> and puts the remains in that. Yep. <laughs> Which he takes then to, like, a cliffside yeah. beach near the Pacific. And the, my favorite line in that whole scene is, According to what we assume <laughs> is your wishes, dying wishes. <laughs> I love that. I know. <laughs> we are now going to spread your asses to into the bosom of the Pacific. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you died so young. Yeah. And it goes off on another rant about Vietnam. <laughs> But brings it back, though, mind yeah. you. But still. <laughs> and then, as he proceeds to scatter the ashes, the, the wind catches it and blows it all in the dude's face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who just stands there and like, yep, this was what was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it just abruptly ends. Yeah, you get one more count with the stranger. Yeah. Which, yeah, a little of Sam Elliott. Oh, yeah, Sam Elliott is a great voice, <laughs> great mustache. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, and then it's just one of those, life goes on, there's no resolution to this. No. Huh? It's just a story that doesn't have an ending. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to do, is an unofficial spin-off movie. Okay. The Jesus Rolls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been all movie with John Turturro's character. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't give any conclusion. No, it's... It was a weird thing where um, they would get the rights from that character from the Coen Brothers just to use that character in the movie. Okay. So... <laughs> Oh, weird, but... Fair enough. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't mention this, uh... So, the other subplot to this is that there's a bowling tournament. Yeah, the bowling tournament. And the rival group is the Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and this other guy I never caught the name of. Yeah. That's one of the teams we get... Well, the team we get getting with Smokey. Yeah. Which... <laughs> Best. <laughs> Walter Thurston with a gun. <laughs> yep. Just for putting his foot a little over the line. Plus, the guy's like, hey, like, Smokey, this is. This is. This is not knob, this is bowling. There are rules. Yeah. And all the fact that I gave my mom, my mom a lot t shirt with that line on it, and it made it wear it when she went bowling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> After watching the movie, you kind of have to sit down and think, why does this have such a huge following? Yeah. The, 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 the dude's philosophy. It really comes down I, to the dude. Yeah. That is a person, I think everyone wants to be as chill as the dude. Yeah. Like, nothing really bothers him. He just, everything, he shrugs off everything. And just so mellow. Yeah, well, 
Like, yeah, you know, like, I mean, Taco, like, when, when the, uh, other Lebowski talking, he's like, okay, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Just, mm. Yeah, it's just, like, the other, with the original Lebowski, when they first meet, mm. he got calls him a bum and useless, and mm. he's like, ah, fuck it, this isn't worth the effort yeah. for a rug. Yeah. <laughs> Because that rug really had the room together. It really did. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the other thing is, like, he ignores phone calls. Because like, oh. he just doesn't want to deal with yeah. the world. Yeah. Because they'll keep calling him about the, the handoff. Yeah. But just remember, the mm, life is in your hands, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that. No. That's too much responsibility for me. I... <laughs> but no, like, throughout the whole movie, he ignores phones. Yeah. Well, that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I believe that is just because he Jesus. just avoids life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah, like, no, like, like... No, I might be deeply reading into that, but... I have <laughs> the feeling that that's his personality. Is If it's important, it will come to me. Yeah, nicely put. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like, it's like, what page? Sentence? I feel, I was watching an interview. I cannot remember the philosophy that they believe that, like, a lot of people came, like, when they were filming the movie, that a lot of people... Zen them? Yeah. Yeah, like, a state of zen or relaxation. Yeah. Like, yeah, nothing really bothers you. Yeah. I'm um, like, some imagine to the home crowd is like, yeah, the, 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 the going to relate to the dude because of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like I said, this movie, like, the cult thing, just like the Church of Latter-day Dude. Yep. At Lebowski Fest. Yep. Which, which that would be awesome to do with bowling tournaments, trivia, uh, big, like, watch the movie, and they get the cast in most of the time. Nice. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap this up, but any final thoughts? No, like, like you know, I, like, I've probably seen this movie since I fully saw it. Yeah, at least ten times, ten more times now. Right. This is my second time watching it, yeah. so I. But I can say, if someone were to say, "I'm gonna, we're gonna watch the Big Lebowski," I'd be like, "Hell yeah." Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, like the last time I went bowling, I actually had a right Russian before I bowled. Nice. And when we put the names on the board, I, I had to put mine down as the dude. Yeah. Well it was me all the guy who I he's like, Oh you played me too and I was gonna put down the dude. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, my drinking experience with the White Russian is I've had those before I even watched this movie. Yeah. <laughs> those used to be one of my favorite drinks to get. <laughs> so, I was preemptively the dude before knowing the dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, though, that's the episode. I'm Devin. Billy, the dude of ads. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. <laughs>